slippery morning. It's plus one outside, so it's above the freezing point of zero Celsius. For those of you who don't use Celsius, it is warm for January. Everything's melting and then freezing to the road. So it's very slick, very icy. It's greasy. But it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a slippery good day. So much for my clean truck. So hard to keep a vehicle clean in winter time. It's a little ridiculous already. Well, that's okay. That's okay, I'll accept the warm weather, even though it makes my truck dirty, okay? I know. I'd much rather have a dirty truck than minus 50. So off to drive trucks we go. I'm excited. Are you excited? It's another day. I'm, I'm told the sun is going to rise. And that always makes it a good day. getting tons and tons of snow. Now we have hardly any snow. 
And then in my young adult years, we wouldn't have a lot of snow, but we'd have really cold temperatures. They'd always talk about the polar vortex. Now we don't even get that. It's so different every year. tight turning radius on this thing. <laughs> I can turn it around on a button. Maybe not on a dime, but definitely on a button. You don't have to worry about, you know, dragging this big 53-foot trailer into these towns and cities. You do gotta worry about your height though, because I'm still 13 foot six or 4.2 meters high, which is the maximum for uh, North America. Unless if you have special permits, you know. Huge training, truck driver training school. United in Steinbeck. Their trucks are around town all day, every day. I wonder if any of you got your license through them. My cousin did. I can't remember how much he told me it was. Some of you will have to let me know how much it costs down below in the comments. It's changed so much in the last couple of years. I've heard that it's about $10,000 to get your Class 1 CDL license here now in Canada. Not cheap. It used to be a lot cheaper. Mine was like 140 bucks. Then again, I had a private trainer, right? My dad trained me how to drive. And then uh, I was also working at Pepsi at the time, and they were training me how to drive as well. And then I just had to pay for my license test, which was 140 bucks, I think. And uh, bada bing, bada boom, I passed, and the rest is history. Here we are, living the dream. I think that's what it was. There might be a few, a few other fees that I had to pay along the way, but there was no way it was even 500 bucks way below 500 bucks and now they're yeah now it's gotten expensive but i understand why because there was a lot of training schools out there and a lot of drivers getting their licenses that shouldn't have gotten their license and then the humble crash happened here in canada i'm sure a lot of you know what that was all about and that's when they changed everything they changed the whole system, and now it's a lot harder to get your license. 
which I hope won't make the driver shortage even worse. But it probably will because it's a it's a huge deterrent for people who want to get their driver uh, their class one CDL, right? Who's gonna have ten thousand dollars laying around to go and get a, a license? I mean, I guess the best choice would be to get trained through a company who will hire you on on a contract right away, and then they pay for the training on the most part, right? I guess that'd be the cheapest way to go, but. You guys have to let me know down below in the comment section if you've gotten your license, your class one, or whatever you call it, wherever you are. Uh, I, I think Ontario calls it the AZ license. Uh, in Manitoba, we call it the class one. America calls it the CDL. Tell me your story of how you got your truck license. How much did it cost, if you don't mind me asking, if you don't mind saying? And uh, how long did it take? What was your experience? I got mine in 2006, so about 15 years ago, and in 15 years it's changed a lot. This truck is still an old school truck, no DEF. And it's a little bit noisier than the new trucks. You can probably you probably noticed that wonderful. Yeah, you can actually hear the engine working. Unlike the new trucks, they almost sound electric. Why are they taking all the good parts out of the truck? Like you want that nice, throaty diesel engine sound, right? At least I do. I love this truck. It was just rebuilt. They just had the top end rebuilt. It runs great. There's no DEF. Sounds great. It's a little noisy, but not a bad thing if you're like me and you like the sound of it. Sometimes I gotta go down the, the fun back roads. Looks like a storm is rolling in though. You know, it was so warm today, I wouldn't be surprised. Usually when we get warm weather like this, it's followed by a big snowstorm. So, I don't know, but it is 2021 and last year was 2020. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Anything could happen. gonna start raining cats and dogs. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, look at that. Just, just another crazy thing in 2020, 2021. Nothing seems to make sense anymore. It's like we got knocked out of reality, got knocked into a new dimension or something. One last stop yet. We need some fuel. So we can start each day off with a full tank of fuel. Ah, oh, makes sense to me. It'd be a real pain to show up in the morning and not be ready to go, have to go and waste time fueling then, right? So we fuel at the end of the day. It's always good to leave the truck with full tanks of fuel anyway, especially in the winter time. So my hair is getting a little bit thin, isn't it? You're not the only one who's noticed, believe me. It's time to shave it, what do you think? Shave my whole head. Bald Trucker Josh. It's gonna happen before summer. I have to do it before I start tanning. Otherwise I'll have a bright white head and brown or olive skin. And that, <laughs> that would look ridiculous. So, uh, what do you think? When should I do it? It's not a question of, should I do it? No, 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 no. I am going to do it. I am shaving. I'm going to see what I look like, okay? If I look completely ridiculous, if I'd look better with a bowling alley on my head, okay, we'll go with the bowling alley, but I'm pretty sure my wife wouldn't... She would prefer the bald head to the bowling. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what the future has in store for us, right? All I know is that this summer there's going to be a bald guy walking around. It's going to be me. Okay? My challenge to you, don't laugh. Okay? If you laugh, you lose. Good luck. I'm going to be laughing.
I think it's gonna look ridiculous. It's gonna be something to get used to. Alright, let's get my fuel cards out here. Let's get this thing fueled up and uh, let's head her home. go. Doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Whoa. Calm down there, Chevy. I've got the honey to-do list already. I haven't even gotten home yet. Being sent out for frozen broccoli and coffee cream. I'm not going to disappoint. up to a nice fresh fresh blanket of snow oh, my wipers are noisy today I'm not sure how much uh, snow we're expecting tonight yet I thought we were gonna get rain I would rather have snow than rain at this time of year rain just messes everything up and causes lots of insurance claims feeling like a rock star let's get our rock star welcome shall we hey boys hey. <laughs> I know it's me it's me what's up commander <laughs> Chevy. oh my yeah you got your little training collar on good boys you're so much better when you I, I knew something must be up such a good boy. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Good boys. So, I was trying to explain it to you in the other video uh, a couple days ago, and that's where the audio cut out. I was explaining what these little collars are. They're little beepy, vibrating collars. So, uh, we have a little controller, and if they're acting up or acting bad, uh, we press a little button and it goes beep on their neck, and that's all they really need. It's worked wonders, especially with this guy. 
and you know if they you really need to get their attention you can give it a little buzz like a buzz, like a vibration on their neck that sort of snaps them out of it if they're not paying attention all right we're all showered up and ready to enjoy the evening right boys right boys oh dog filled evening all right Who's that? Who's that? Diesel. Who's there? You're not falling for it, man. There's somebody right there, you hear him? Hello? Well, Britt's pretty tired. She doesn't want to be on the vlog today. We'll just have to include her double on the weekend. Maybe I'll even get her to hold the camera and vlog herself. Maybe. What? Maybe I'll get you to do some vlogging on the weekend yourself. Okay. With you holding the camera and everything. We shall see, dear. How many of you remember the days of Brit's Beat when she used to post videos herself? Oh, the good old days. The good old days? Back in the day. Yep. <laughs> yeah, YouTube wasn't really her thing. It's sort of like my hobby. It's what I really enjoy doing, and not everybody enjoys doing this, so it wasn't really her thing. She's got a bunch of other hobbies, though. She's the greatest mother to these guys. Right? Hey, Diesel. Say something to the good people. We have to end this vlog. Did you fart? Was it you? Someone stinks. Is it me? It's not me, man. You can't blame this one on Wiener this time. He's not in here. Look at the little tail wagon back there. It was you. you stinker. All right, Chevy. Diesel. We gotta say goodbye. Thanks for watching today. Uh, tomorrow's another video. We got another day this week yet. And then the weekend. I have weekends now. <laughs>